Okay, hi again, Luke here. Uh, in this video, we're going to go through the process of setting up a sign-up form. Now, uh, you can see along, we're in the back office again, uh, and you can see along the top here, we've got sign-up forms. Now, what this sign-up form is, is actually how the person, how your lead or your contact or your client can actually enter their information to join your email list. So we're going to create our first sign-up form. And I will have videos in uh, coming up that will encompass all of this so you can see how this whole process works but for the moment I just need you to go through the steps individually so you can see how we can tie them together. Now there are plenty of options here okay you can go through find anything that suits you. Uh, this one actually is quite nice another one that I use often is uh, in popular uh, is this one I use this one quite often uh, and you can see you can choose your color and what you can then do We'll just stay, we'll stay with the, the one that we've got here. What you can then do is edit it. So you can edit the header. So if we click here, we can actually enter text. And we can, we can, uh, this is just like, just like Word, I guess. So you can enter, you can edit the font, colors, whatever it might be. Okay, so uh, let's say join Luke's training list below okay uh, we might get that in the center and now let's say we make it bold okay you can play around with this but basically what we're doing here is creating an opt-in form for people to join our email list now you can choose if you would like to have the name filled in or out, so you can delete that. Uh, so this would mean that if, for instance, that they may just be requesting some type of information from your business that isn't relevant for their name, then you can actually delete the name field and just capture their email. Uh, it's really up to you. But I, there, there's, there's two ways of thinking. I look at this two, it's two separate ways. If you leave the name in, then you will have a better personal touch because uh, as you'll see in the coming videos you can actually enter a code which will allow their first name to be displayed in the email right so this really does add a, a personal touch if you take the name out more people are likely to actually opt into your email address the less information that they uh, require the more likely they are to actually enter their information so that's up to you uh, I lean towards leaving the name in because I like that personal uh, touch. Then you can also uh, edit these. I often delete the email marketing by Aweber and I delete the footer unless I want to write something. I like to leave where you respect your email privacy in. Now you can edit that if you'd like to edit. Okay. So now uh, save your form and then we go on to step two. Okay. So my web form, all right, this is, let's say, we change it so it's relevant to Luke's training. And then we've got our options to choose our thank you pages. Now on the thank you page, you can just have your basic thank you page. So we'll preview that. Okay, you're almost done. Activate your subscription. So like we like we mentioned in the last uh, video where you needed to actually confirm your opt-in, this is the the email will have been sent to their email address and so they'll see this and then that will prompt them to go to their email address and click on that link in the email but I'm going to actually we'll go through that in the next video about this confirmed opt-in uh, or you can come down and you can choose uh, many alright so this is the video version so again this is just directing them to go to their email address uh, and that video does play I'm not sure why it's not, but uh, that will direct them to go to their email address uh, and confirm that subscription as well. Or you can, and this is what I do, create a custom page, and this can be any page that you choose. So after the person has opted in, often they are opting in for a reason. You have offered them something and they're filling in their their email address for that. Uh, so I like to redirect perhaps directly to what it is that they've asked for. Okay, so this might redirect to an a, to a information page, a video, uh, some type of training, whatever it might be that they have requested. Uh, and so basically, so let's say for instance, if this was my training list, then I would enter my training information page here. This would be my website with my training information. So that as soon as they opt in, they get exactly what it is that they've asked for. Uh, 
Okay, now the last thing down here is, all right, we'll just leave this for the moment. We'll leave this up here on the basic version. Uh, now the last thing down here is that they've already subscribed. So this basically just says if somebody's already subscribed to your email list on this particular one list, because remember we can set up multiple lists, but if they're already subscribed to this one email list, then they will get a notification saying that they're already subscribed. Uh, so we'll save that web form and then we'll go to step three. Okay, now what this what we've got here is the ability to either install your form on your own website or have Aweber host it for you. So if I click on a, have Aweber host it for me and we copy this link and we put that up into our browser and enter, there it is. Okay, so you can see it is as simple as that to actually create a web form. If this isn't much of a lead capture page, which you should uh, perhaps already understand if you've been through my marketing training. If this isn't much of a lead capture page, very few people are going to just join with no prior information here. But if it is something that, that, that you're directing them to personally, so if you are saying, for instance, with this, if I was to say, hey, if you'd like to get onto my training list, I'm just going to send you a link, fill in your information, and then you'll be involved with my training newsletter, then I could send them this. Okay, It's as simple as that. If they put in their information here, then they will actually be sent uh, all of the follow-up email series, which we'll cover soon, uh, in our email autoresponder. So uh, it's as simple as that. It really is as simple as that. You can also, if you remember, back here uh, in design, you could continue to fill this out, okay? This could just be more information, whatever it is that you want, all right? You can just, you could make a whole lead capture page here with text uh, and color and everything maybe to be more enticing if you don't have anywhere else to host your lead capture pages. So that is if we are hosting with uh, Aweber. Save that. If we want to install it on our form, we actually get the JavaScript. Now this might be, uh, so let's say we go to Luke's uh, training system here. So on the blog here, okay, you can see here, all right, so this is an opt-in form just like you see there, but I have actually entered that into my blog uh, using this HTML code. Okay, so you copy that code and you enter it into your website if you know how to build websites. Uh, it's very, very easy. And then that way, the opt-in form is actually built into the website or on a lead capture page, whatever, whatever it is that uh, you, wherever it is that you're trying to put it to generate leads to build your list. So that's actually quite, that's, this is the most effective option. This is very simple. Okay, so you can have the Aweber host it. Uh, to get started, but the most effective option is to actually find somewhere that you can enter it. So uh, that's basically it for the opt-in forms. I'm going to show you how we tie that all together in a moment, uh, so it might feel a little bit lost, but hopefully you've just followed along and created an opt-in form for yourself and have a Aweber hosted and you've copied this so that you know exactly uh, where you can enter the information. Okay guys, I'll see you on the next video.